Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I would like to show you um, Creative Cloud a little bit. I downloaded Creative Cloud and purchased a student license for it. I found buying it as a year subscription instead of, it will probably auto renew after my year, but I paid for a year in advance on Amazon. Um, and at first I was kind of sketchy about the price, but when I found out that it had, it includes Lightroom 5, which I was probably going to buy anyway, that means that I now have access to basically every program that Adobe makes for around $200, $250-ish. I didn't really do the exact math, but I find it very beneficial that it came with this Lightroom 5 because I was already going to download that and the fact that it was just a little bit more on top of that to get all of the pro software made it a little bit more worth it for me. We'll see when I have to give up on my student pricing and go up to the $50 a month because that's a little ridiculous. Anyways, um, so as you just saw, after you install Creative Cloud, you have this neato little thing right here, which you can pin to the menu bar. So it can be just like a little menu bar thing, or it can run as a separate application. This is just like a little manager thing. You can't really start any of the programs. Like I want them to add in a functionality to turn this into like an Adobe Dock type of thing where you can click on the icon and it'll start the application so that'll keep my dock down here from getting too cluttered but we'll see if they do that but this is where you can install stuff from and so you can just swipe through and install whatever you want this home screen has a list of your recent activities so once they activate the um, creative cloud sync and the font download. I can start a Behance portfolio right now, but I imagine right here will be kind of like a Facebook feed type of thing where everything as it's being uploaded to my account or as I'm downloading stuff or whatever is happening with Creative Cloud will show up recently here. Uh, preferences do not really go through very much. You can just see it's very, very simple settings. Um, because this is all just for this simple little account manager thing. <clears throat> so, um, the reason why I wanted to do this video right now though is because I have some time and I was having an issue particularly with After Effects. Now when I try to open After Effects, let's go in here, click on After Effects and open After Effects, it was popping up with this little error which errors are never good when you want to run a program if it will even start it's bouncing here we go first it couldn't load a font two fonts for some odd reason and one of those fonts is required for the After Effects interface now if, I find it kinda of strange that they would install After Effects but the font isn't included in the installation so that's a little odd and it says reinstall After Effects and I was like okay reinstall After Effects I'll come up here and there's nothing so I looked around and I couldn't find anything and stuff and so I finally looked on the internet and I found some stuff and they made the uninstall like uninstalling Creative Cloud way too difficult so you have all your programs up here to uninstall though you have to go to utilities and this is just on a Mac I have no idea how this will work on Windows but on a Mac you come down here to utilities and you have these Adobe things right here you're gonna go to Adobe installers and then there will be an uninstaller even though it's called installers it's a folder full of uninstallers to uninstall the software so then you click on the uninstall file and then once it's done uninstalling, I'm going to try and reinstall it. I also was really curious because supposedly with the Creative Cloud subscription, you're supposed to be able to download a copy of Cinema 4D Lite for free with After Effects. And I think it's included in the download. So as you're downloading After Effects, it should also download Cinema 4D, which I'm really excited for because I've really been wanting to mess around with some 4D or some <laughs> some 3D modeling and integration into video. So 
we'll see how that works but I'll go ahead and uninstall this and come back and see if it works okay so I figured since I'm doing this tutorial style that I would kind of show you guys this. For some odd reason After Effects is still listed even after I've uninstalled it. It's still listed in this Creative Cloud menu so it would be kind of helpful if they would probably make some adjustments to this, make this a little bit more live because it's not the first time that's happened. I may switch screens a couple times see if I can get it to disappear because I don't think it will let me reinstall it from here until I can somehow get it off of this list, which is really weird. Once again, this is a kind like Adobe is kind of getting into this new way of running Creative Cloud, and I just don't think that they have made it as good as they could have. It's a little bit of a pain in my area that is below my butt. I mean, crap mess that one up come on yeah so I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to get rid of this and then basically after I'm done with that reinstalling should be a breeze once I can figure out how to just make that button reappear because after that I'll just be able to click install and it'll go so um, hopefully this will work if it doesn't I'll probably post another video later in the day venting and ranting about how much I want to make 3D objects and Adobe isn't letting me. Anyways, um, I don't care if you rate, subscribe, or comment, but if you comment, keep it clean, and I will maybe not ever see you later, because I don't know you, and it's kind of creepy that you're watching me. Got the solution by you going into the Adobe chat. I figured that it would probably have something to do with restarting the application or turning off my computer or something. Um, I just wanted to see if there was another way to do it, but apparently that's the only way to do it. What the guy in the chat had me do was he had me come up into the preferences of Creative Cloud Application Manager, go to preferences, come to my account, and sign out and then sign back in. And upon signing in, it removed Adobe After Effects from this list, put it back down here so now I can hit install one more time. Now hopefully it'll install correctly and will work great. Now um, really quickly though, I also want to point out that the guy in trying to figure out what was going on, it took a decent while, it was like 20 minutes of me sitting waiting for him to reply and stuff like that. Um, he did have me download what is called the Adobe Creative Cloud Cleaner Tool. And if you are getting Adobe Creative Cloud, I highly suggest that you just download this from the get-go. It does not come in the installation file, but it seems rather useful because what it does is it allows you to go in and manually manage um, plugins and add-ons to the Adobe Creative Cloud suite. So... Um, what he wanted me to do was check and see if there were any flyaway files of After Effects or related to After Effects that hadn't been uninstalled yet, and that was affecting the list. But it wasn't the issue, but it still is a useful tool. So if you are getting Adobe, After, um, Adobe Creative Cloud, I suggest you also find that online. I'll throw the link that he gave me to download it in the description.